Hello and welcome to App Builds. In this video, we'd like to walk you through the process of creating an application. The first thing you need to do is log into your account and then click the Templates button up here to be brought to this page. On this page, you choose your starting app template. And if you scroll down, you'll notice these are high quality templates that look fantastic and already are fully functional. We also have several pages to choose from, so you'll have no problem finding an application template that works for you. In this video, I'm going to choose the My Business App template for demonstration purposes. So click Select on the template you'd like, and then you're brought to a live preview where you can actually click through some of the buttons and tabs on the app and get an idea for the layout and how it would actually feel to show your content using this template. I like this, so I'll choose Use Template. And here you enter in your application ID. Now this is just a personal identifier. This is not how it's going to be displayed in the App Store. So just enter something that's quick and easy for you to remember the application that you're working with and then click Create. Here is where you enter in the App Store name. So for my demonstration purposes, I'm just going to choose My Business App and then enter in a description. So I'll choose My Great App. Again, you're going to want your description and title to be a little more relevant and give people a better idea of what it contains, but you get the idea. Click Next and then choose your native display interface. Now, if you want it to display natively on the iPhone, you can choose to leave it at that, but you can also choose native iPad, Android, or other devices there. I want mine to be a native iPhone app, so I'll leave that and then click Next. At this point, you can choose your tab layout. You can choose a wheel design like this over here. You can choose to have custom tabs, standard tabs, or no tabs. I like the standard tabs, so I'm going to leave that in the drop-down menu, and then click Next. Here you'll choose your generic font and text appearance, so make sure that you choose a font size that's easy for people to read, as well as a text color and justification that's pretty easy for your users to read and navigate. And then click Next. Here you can upload your background image if you have a certain image that you'd like to use. You can also choose a background color by clicking this button and then selecting the color that you'd like to use from the color chart and click Next. Enter in your company contact info and click Next. And that's all there is to it. At this point we get a brief summary of our app and we click this Done button down here. And that's all there is to it. Now we have our basic application set up and we can edit specific pages, we can change design properties, navigation and application settings, and really customize this completely to make sure that it matches exactly what we envision our app to be. In the next few videos, we'll explore how to do more custom design for your specific app. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us.